Okay, the next kayak I'm going to show you here is a Hayden, and it was made back in the 80s, uh, the same one that was used in Magnum PI, uh, same ski. It has a removable like shovel on the front uh, if you're surfing the waves to keep you from nose diving. The kayak itself is 20 inches wide by 19 feet long. It's the same width actually as the Sprinter next door, which uh, is also 20 inches wide. But it's pretty deceiving because this um, Hayden actually has a very wide bow on it, and it's very flat across the bottom. Um, you think it'd be pretty stable, but it's just a little tipsy. The only reason it is is because if you notice, the seat height is not very deep in the top hole compared to the other two here. This one goes within two inches of the bottom. This guy's within, I'm saying, an inch and a half of the bottom, an inch of the bottom. This guy here only drops three inches from the top. And uh, it's uh, old school. It's very light. You can carry it under your arm like a surfboard. It has foot straps on it, old school foot straps. And uh, it has a rudder on the back, old style aluminum rudder easy to fix. Uh, the only thing that runs inside the hull is uh, cables. Uh, everything else is external. The hull is very, very thin on this one. It has a, a piece of wood running down the center of the kayak, but as far as the hull, the hull is very soft. I would say it's, uh, you can see that flexing, but it's a very soft hull. Um, so you wouldn't want to run into anything with it or come crashing down from a big wave. This one's already got two repairs on it where it's split. One is on the side and one is across the back. Um, I'm going to end up keeping this ski and putting a hatch right in the back there and when I do that I'll repair the inside of it and stiffen it up a little bit. It's, it's pretty light that I could add some weight to it and uh, it really won't hurt me. Um, from the pedals, it's got aluminum pedals in it, from the pedals to the realistic back of the seat I'd say it's like 38 and a half inches. The uh, same as the shear water here. Um, the feet wells are pretty deep though. If you have your feet hanging over the edge of the kayak, it's absolutely stable. Stable is a just like a rock sitting on a rock. It's it's great. The moment you put your feet up, it gets a little tipsy. Um, it's pretty fast in the water. It has some uh, uh, rocker in the front. It's like I said, it's pretty flat, but yet it has rocker. If you compare it to the Ocean Racing Surf Ski in the front. The Ocean Racing Surf Ski gets very narrow, but it also has high volume once you get about a foot back. This one here is pretty much just flat like a surfboard with a little bit of V in the front of it. So the piece in the front is removable. There's a drain plug underneath it. I don't know why they would put a drain plug underneath that, but I think that red piece really needs a hole in it where you can access the drain plug from the top. Other than that, it's a great little kayak. Surf ski, sorry. And uh, old school, too. Let me stand back, give you an idea what that looks like with the rest of them here. Uh, somebody paid in it back in the day, back in the 90s. I guess he was trying to give it the Miami Vice look or something. But that's the Hayden Surf Ski.